All right, so here we have the CR10S right here behind me. We're going to be doing the filament sensor review right now. We're going to see what happens when it actually runs out of filament and, of course, if we can resume printing. So what we're going to do is take a look here with the red PLA that we have right in there, some of the AMZ 3D brand, and uh, it's going to be printing one of the rose vases, and as soon as it starts printing that vase, we're probably going to run out of filament pretty quickly. So as soon as it runs out of filament, we're going to go ahead and see what happens and see if we cannot, uh, you know, keep our print from, from going bad. And, and hopefully it should stop and allow me to put new filament in to finish the print. That's right, no more coming home to half-done prints, you know, like where, where you think that it's going to have enough filament, but it doesn't have enough filament. Or sometimes you go to bed and you wake up the next morning and, and it's literally just had like an inch of no filament for the last piece and, and, and you've just completely ruined not only your, your print, you've wasted your time and you've wasted your money. So having something simple like this right here is supposed to not only save your time, save you money, save you hassle and all those things. So let's see if it works. So here you can see the machine just got done backing off after starting the vase. It uh, stopped the filament right about there. And right over here we see error change filament. So this is uh, all exactly what we wanted it to do. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and change that filament and uh, see if we can't uh, get this to reset. Okay, so when I go into the actual menu, it does say resume print, so you can see that I can continue the print. The issue is right now the nozzle does automatically stop heating. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having the nozzle reheat, and as soon as the nozzle reheats, I'm going to take out the red plastic and refeed it with the black plastic, and we're going to go ahead and continue the print from there. Okay, so I've replaced the filament just now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go down here, right back where it says error change filament, I'm going to click in there, go to resume print, and let's see what it does. It's going to have to get back to temperature here for the bed as well, which might take a little bit of time. Let's see, we've got some excess plastic coming out right there on the nozzle. Oh, there it goes. Oh, ow. A little bit of a hump there where it went back. Base mode probably isn't the best mode to show off for doing a reset with the plastic or with the filament, but what I wanted to do was something that sucked the plastic quickly, so that's why we did this. At the same time, it still does look like it's actually working, so I'm surprised. Um, like I said, using anything where it's doing like an infill type situation, it's going to come back much more smoothly. You know, for example, let's say you're filling in the inside of an object. If it's filling in the inside of an object and you, you, you run out of filament somewhere along, you know, that spot, of course it's going to pop out and then if you have the ability to reset, it's going to go right back in the middle and you're never going to notice that kind of a difference. Whereas if it's just doing the outside edge of something the entire time, if it has to fix an outside edge, then it's going to see, you're going to see some imperfections. Um, regardless, as you can look back right here, you can see it looks like it's working perfectly. It has just uh, gotten right back on making the vase with the black filament and no issues whatsoever. So I guess the next step after this is going to be checking out what happens if there's a power outage. Hmm? What happens if you run out of power? Alright, so one thing we know for sure is that the printer filament detection unit does actually work, and uh, that's great. But another thing the printer talks about is that it has an auto-resume feature in case the printer runs out of power. So, let's say you're, you know, sitting here printing something and you're 12% done, as it shows right now. Can you actually resume printing? I'm, 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 I'm gonna find out. So, uh, we're gonna simulate somebody kicking the power cable, right? Here's the power cable coming from the back. Let's just say, you know, you've got your power cable hanging out right here in your room, you know, because you're an idiot, and then you, you're just, you're like, oh, yeah, whoa, I love printing, and then you go over here and you just, you, 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 you mess it up, boom, right? And your, print, your, your printer turns off, and it was, it was in the middle of a print.
and you know that's not going to be good for that edge right there. But what, 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 what can you do? Can you, can you actually walk back over here? Can you actually plug it back in? Can the printer actually turn on? I don't think it's going to work. It says printer ready. When I click it, yeah, see there's no resume. I don't actually see where I can do, where I can get it to work. See, I could literally just hit print fresh rose vase, and it could reheat the bed. But right now, yeah, there's 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 nothing. So uh, I I haven't actually seen the ability to get this bed to reheat. So I don't know if I need to upgrade the firmware or what I need to do to make this work. But as far as I can tell, it does not have you know a feature where you can actually restart it again. So there we have a bowl instead of a vase. We've got ourselves a nice little bowl right here, which is okay because I need an extra little bowl. Um, and you can see right there where the filament ran out, you've got yourself a little edge. So even if you were to resume printing, you know it's got an issue right there. You know these printers need to have some sort of a mechanism, some sort of a, a, of a maybe a little lithium battery in there so that when something does fail that it actually has enough power to just take the printer and move it up a few millimeters before it ruins the prints because even when you do resume prints you're gonna have some issues so I think like a, a little miniature backup battery power would be perfect in, in, a, in a really you know great printer so they've got they've got a few things they need to do to keep designing these things to make them better and better um, but but things like that we're discovering and we're figuring out right now but as far as I can say on this upgraded version I do not have a, a power restart method working just yet so you know what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start playing it or I'm gonna start heating it one more time and instead of unplugging the power I'm actually gonna turn the power on and off on the back but I can guarantee you the results are gonna be the same so I'm probably not even gonna show that part anyway I hope you guys uh, found this video enjoyable or at least somewhat informative I'll see you guys in the next one very very soon we've got several more 3d printing videos to come I can't wait to show you guys see you bye